Alright, hey, welcome to, uh, looks like episode 6 of Plug and Play Gardening with Brian. I've got a lot of the contraption done. I used this jigsaw from my dad. <coughs> oh, allergies are kicking my butt. And this Ryobi uh, drill. And I put this guy together. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I've got tape holding the sections together because once I get them all, uh, you know, the chicken wire in, <coughs> then I'll put little latches here to hold them in place. Uh, but they lift off like this end is one piece. This guy lifts off this one section that's finished. Um, and this whole thing is one section. The two and then the two. But it'll just lift up and it's not going to be too heavy. <coughs> Same thing over here. I've got one section that runs from right here, past here, over to here. Connects to up there, over to that guy, and over to there. And then this corner is a section, that piece is a section, this two piece is a section, and then this end is a section. <coughs> Again, this doesn't look quite square, because, um, well, I cut the board just a hair too, uh, too long when I drilled it in here. But it's good enough. I'm happy with it. I've got to cut off a couple pieces to make the top all nice and level. Um, but I'm happy. This whole side, if I can line it up right, this level, this whole side, which isn't going to line up, this whole thing. level from here to here is level from that corner to that corner is level so the whole thing is leveled I'm so proud of myself for that I've never done something like that I figured I'd mess up but I'm very patient and I had to redo pieces a few times I've got a lot of scrap <laughs> like this is the only good board that I have. Coal. Um, I'm going to drop those for a third time. But basically, I'm going to use the scrap and do this trim here. And I may or may not put one of these guys across this gap. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but it might work to make this whole thing level. And as you can see, I filled the bed with um, a bunch of leaves and my compost, some charcoal, <coughs> and there's sticks underneath. I've got a couple more bags of leaves that Dad gave me that I'm going to dump in here. And basically, for the next week, I'm just going to let it do its thing. And then I'm going to put another row of cardboard and then some landscaping cloth. <coughs> um, and... Fill it with the Mel's mix, and then I'll get the, uh, actually I'll probably put the strings out today. Uh, no, because I want to get the rest of those on, and I don't have enough chicken wire, like, this is what I got for chicken wire, plus another, enough to do, like, maybe two pieces. So, things are looking good. Um, I got a whole bunch of potatoes started. And these guys are open, so I'll let you take a peek at them. They're really pretty. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is really a short video. Four and a half minutes. Um, one other thing. This drain here. As you can see, it comes right here. And it's got a long piece that would go right where that guy is. And I actually would kick in here. <coughs> and I was thinking about cutting a hole and running the pipe straight through. But I decided instead, I'm going to have it come from right there over the top of this guy. And then down, and then distribute the water when it rains over everything. 
with another out going that way. Uh, I just got to tape the inside of these so they're square. But we're looking pretty good. Um, probably the next thing you'll see is the rest of the chicken wire. Um, yeah, of course that bottom one there isn't level because I made that one higher intentionally. Um, but up top it's all level. Perfectly. Yay. I'm happy. Might be off a little bit, but it's close enough for me. And it's far under 120 square feet each section, so I don't need any permits or any of that jazz. And it's not permanent because uh, there's no concrete and it can technically be moved. But yeah. Um, happy Sunday. Hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. God bless you and take care. Bye.